Hi, welcome back to Inspired Method Marketing Channel here on YouTube. We're so glad you joined us today. Today we're going to be going over another really important topic for marketing and making your marketing count for you. We're going to be talking about getting those Google reviews. Seems like a simple task, doesn't it? Well, today it, I'm Karen. <laughs> I'm Karen every day. <laughs> This is my husband Trevor, and we're co-owners of Inspired Method Marketing, and we're always here to give you the latest, greatest, innovative, uh, creative ways to make your marketing go further for your business or your personal brand. So like I said, today we're going to be talking about getting those Google reviews, mm -hmm. and we'll tell you why that's so important as well as we go along. Henry Ford, everyone knows who he is, he said that you can't build a reputation on what you're going to do. Mm, so true. Yeah. <clears throat> so according to Moz, search engine optimization experts agree that Google reviews with text that are the top three things that businesses can do to improve their ranking. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. So a little bit of a backstory here. Um, businesses that we help commonly don't understand the value of having a lot of Google reviews. And they really struggle getting those reviews. And because why? It's not always easy to get them. Sometimes customers forget. And they don't know how to um, log into Google and leave that review. So when it comes to implementing strategies, they struggle. And what we're going to be sharing today is a few of those tips that we use on a regular basis to help our clients with getting more Google reviews. Yeah, so question number one for you, Trevor, is... Mm -hmm. Which businesses can get away with not getting Google reviews? Mm. Are there such businesses? Mm. Well, I'm going to say as a blanket statement, no. <laughs> There's no business that can get away with not having a Google review. Um, the only ones that might be um, um, not included in that would be really, really large industrial multinational type companies. They don't really rely on Google reviews, but then again, those really aren't our customers. We're going after local businesses who have local reach. Um, they can be even nationwide, but really most of them are focused in a, a central location, a city or a town. Makes sense. So why do businesses have such a hard time getting Google reviews from their customers? Well, it comes from a lot of different things. I, I would say, firstly, they don't ask for Google reviews on a regular basis. So you don't ask, you don't get. Uh, number two, they don't train their staff on asking for those reviews or training their staff on how to um, make it easy for clients to give Google reviews. Those are two ways. Then number three, I would say um, most commonly people forget. You ask for a review, they say, yeah, 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 I'll give you a review. Sure, you guys are awesome. And um, as soon as they walk out the door, they forget you get busy with life and um, you know it just how it is people just forget now the ones that do leave a review we love those people they're our favorite <laughs> so that's that's really why they have such a hard time yeah people forget that's true you have to remind them so why is it important for customers to also leave a written review and not just stars mm. well because with with any review, people are looking at them. They don't want to see just a bunch of you know names with five stars and no words behind it. They want to really see what that customer experience is. And Google is looking at that as well. Mm -hmm. So if you have those reviews with some type of a, a written response as to, oh, we love the service here, or we dealt with so-and-so and they did a really good job for us, or we love you guys, you are awesome, you know, some kind of an objective uh, review, that goes a whole lot further. Because why? When people are doing their search and they look and they're reading the reviews, they want to see what kind of experience they can expect mm -hmm. with your company. Yeah, the details, it's all in the details, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how can you use Facebook Messenger for getting reviews? Mm -hmm. So Facebook Messenger, you can do um, a couple of things. Easiest thing is if you have a list of people that you've done work with, done business with, or that you're connected with on Messenger, you can go through there and just give them a quick text and say, hey, um, thank you so much for you know being a customer and you know me, like me, trust me, would you mind giving me a Google review? 
And um, most of the time they say, yeah, sure, why not? And then you just can easily send them a link to your Google reviews page and they can almost immediately start giving you a review right there. They don't have to do any extra steps. They can just click on that link and go from there. Um, other things you can do is you can set up a, uh, a review bot through uh, companies called ManyChat. You can create one through there and um, people will go through and they'll rate your service, rate your menu, rate your business on a scale of one through five. And then any complete five star reviews that you get on that bot, because it's not on you know, Facebook or Google or anything yet, you can have a manager or someone follow up with them or even yourself as a business owner, follow up and say, hey, I noticed you gave us a five star review um, in our bot. Would you mind going through and um, just making that public and going onto Google and then just send them the link to the Google page. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So how can you use email to get reviews? Email, same thing. If you have a list of customers, hopefully you're gathering the, the emails of the customers you have. You have a list of them and you can easily send them instructions on how to leave a review. First off, you know, touch base with them again. You don't want to come out of the blue, out of left field, out of you know, nowhere. There are people who are already in your customer base you've dealt with and they know who you are. Um, then you send them an email saying, hey, thanks so much for being our customer. You know, we love you, you're great, yada yada. Would you please send us a review? And then you leave instructions in that email on how they can go about doing a review. Leave links there and they can easily click on it, open up the Google reviews page and um, quickly and easily leave you that review. That sounds a lot easier. Mm -hmm. So how do business owners get their employees on board with getting those reviews from customers? Well, a couple of different ways. Number one, you got to train them. You've got to train them uh, as to why they need to get these reviews for the business and the importance of it. Number two, you can have um, incentives, right? So even as, a, as bragging rights, so have, a, let's say you have your employees listed out on a, a sheet in the back room or something and everybody can see the target um, Google reviews that they have to get and how many everyone is getting and then the winner gets a, a prize. You know, the amount of uh, people who, uh, the person who gets the most Google reviews at the end of the week can get a, you know, maybe a, a paid day off or you know, a, gift, a gift card, gift card or yeah. something of that nature. So it really puts that competition and that, that level up for people to actually ask for those reviews and uh, get them from customers. And of course, have the tools necessary that uh, they need in order to make it easy for customers to, to leave that review. Okay. Mm -hmm. What kind of automation tools do you recommend for getting reviews from happy customers? Mm. Um, so automation tools, I think we covered a couple of them. Use your email, use uh, ManyChat. Um, if you need help setting that up, we can guide you and, and help you get that review system set up. Um, and you know, the, the biggest thing for automated reviews is making sure that you've got those tools ready to go in the pipe. Um, what I've done, um, it's not really automated, but I've created cheat sheets for customers to have, for the reception to hand out to the, uh, to the clients as they're leaving the office, whether it's a dental office or dermatology office. You know, here, take this, because a lot of the uh, patients they have are older or maybe they're not real tech savvy, they don't understand how to do it. So even handing them a piece of paper is a way to have that more automatic response from people. And then the, um, of course, having um, a place to review on your <clears throat> Facebook page or in your um, website. But I really like using the emails, the chat bots, or um, the instant messaging type of systems. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is the right way to incentivize a client for a review? Mm, that's, that's really good because um, you can't pay for uh, a review like it's against Google's uh, code of conduct and their their rules of engagement for getting reviews so what you can do is you can offer so you give us a, a review and the next time you come in for a purchase we'll give you you know 10% off or we'll give you some kind of a, an incentive that way right yeah I've actually seen that mm -hmm. so that that's a way you can get around that that rule um, but you never want to say hey I'll trade you $20 for a Google review no you, can, you can't do that because then um, number one, they should be a customer of yours or acquainted with your business. They know, like, and trust you. Um, and then after that, you can incent them on the next time they come in. Right. 
if they've given a review, show the review. Yeah, you just kind of a little bit of goodwill there. So you never want to, you know, go outside those rules because it's happened in the past when, when Google has found out someone is paying for uh, reviews that they wipe all the reviews up down to zero. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, not cool. that makes sense. It's mm -hmm. not fair if you're paying in, unethically. In mm -hmm. So when should a business stop asking for Google reviews? Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> I think you should stop asking for Google reviews. Never. You should never <laughs> stop asking. When you for shut Google the reviews. doors to the business. <laughs> yeah, when you shut the doors to the business, hopefully, the, if you've gotten lots of reviews and a lot of repeat referral business, you don't have to shut the doors. So I would say never ever stop getting Google reviews. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for today. Lots of great information. Thank you, Trevor. And don't forget to like this video if you like the content and share it wherever you want, wherever you can to help others. And subscribe to our channel to always stay up to date with the latest information. Thanks for joining us today. Bye.